Alright, so now we're ready to go ahead here and continue where we left off in the last lesson. And if we go ahead and take a look where we left off, we actually have our window made and all of our buttons. We just now need to go ahead and figure out how to find out the actual procedures that we need to go ahead and um, bring those images in and set them where we want to go ahead and set them. So what we can go ahead and do here is, let me go ahead and maximize my workspace so we also have the top here. I'm just going to go ahead and clean the top off. Okay, I'm just going to move this a little bit here. I'm going to jump into my four view here. And we're going to start with our side image. So let's go ahead and hit view, import image. And I actually did that wrong because I need to go ahead and turn on our echo all commands there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and view, import image. We'll just import our side shape here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we need. We need to go ahead and um, <clears throat> read out that whenever we imported that side image, this is the code here that actually gets run. So if we go ahead and copy and paste that, we know that we're going to go ahead and need this. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this into a new mail tab just so that we um, have that code. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean up our top here. Okay, so let's also go ahead and reselect this, making sure that we have our top to be clean here. Okay, I'm going to hit Control A to open the attribute editor. Okay, just making sure that we still have this clean. Oops. Go ahead and redo this. Just reselect it, just so that we're getting the code that we need here. Select our side. Okay. Go ahead and paste that in because we're reselecting the image. Go ahead and clean the top again. We will go ahead and rename this as our side image. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and look through my script editor again here. And I just need to see where it's actually renaming that command or renaming the image. So this just takes a little bit of time to go ahead and find this here. Okay, so it's the rename image plane one side image. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and copy and paste that. Go ahead and clear our top here. Come down and set our placement here to be in the negative X at negative 50. Okay, so when we do that, we also get the set adder command here to set that in the negative 50. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and turn off my echo all commands. Clean our top here. And I want to test this code to make sure that this is the actual code that's going to. Um, work and set up our image plane correctly. So we'll just go ahead and highlight this entire thing, run that code, bring in the side image, and just move this off. And you can see where that side image does get renamed, and it also does get moved to the negative 50 in the x direction. So I now know that this is the procedure that I want to run whenever we press the side button. So with that all highlighted, we'll just go back to our original mail script here and we will simply go ahead and copy and paste this into oops I didn't actually copy that entire thing okay so we'll just go ahead and copy the entire thing there go ahead and paste that into our side image procedure go ahead and start a new scene real quick go ahead and highlight the code go ahead and run it let's test our side button so now you can see where our side image does get imported from selecting that side button so now what we want to go ahead and do is the same thing here for the top button. So let's just go ahead and start a new scene real quick. And just use the same procedure here to go ahead and find the top image and the front image. So I'll just give you a rerun and then I'll just uh, copy and paste the, the third code here for the front image. So I'll just give you a, a refresher real quick. Okay, so we just jump into our four view. Turn on our echo all commands view, image plane, 
import image doesn't necessarily matter the image that we import there okay so we're import the image plane for the top shape let's go ahead and copy and paste that go ahead and delete that side image one since we don't necessarily need it there okay go ahead and clean that up reselect and selecting the R top so we'll go ahead and copy that go ahead and rename that the side or the top image here and now we just need to go ahead and look through here to where our top image is being renamed go ahead and just move this down so I can get a little bit larger view here Okay, so it's the rename image plane one to top image. Okay, so we'll go ahead and copy this, paste this in there as well. Okay, and we'll move this in the negative y direction, negative 50. Okay, and you can see here where it says the set adder top image dot center y negative 50. Okay, so we just go ahead and copy and paste that below the image plane one top image. And let's go ahead and turn off our echo all commands. Go ahead and clean that there. Open a new scene real quick. And let's just test this command to see if it's going to work. And it looks like it worked. Yep, because I can actually see the grid there. Okay. And it renamed it to our top image. So now I know that this is the code that's going to get run every time we go ahead and import our top image so let's just go ahead and make sure that we select the entire thing here we'll go ahead and copy it and paste that into our top image procedure okay and I'm just going to go ahead here and copy the command for my front image shape from the original script okay so let's go ahead and copy and paste that for our front image Okay, we'll go ahead and paste that in, and I can just simply turn that off for that last line, and turn off the set adder front image display only if current. What, what that means is I would actually have this check looking through camera, so I wouldn't see it in the perspective viewport. You can go ahead and add that line of code um, for any th any image that you've actually gone ahead and did, but since I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to simply strip that out of the code. Okay. So now that we have our images in here and um, completely set up, what I want to go ahead and do is just test the script here just to make sure that it's um, going to work. So making sure that I don't have actually any windows there open. Go ahead and run that code. Let's go ahead here and see if this is going to work the way that I want it to. So we'll go ahead and import the side. Go ahead and import the front go ahead and import the top and there you can see where we have our actual image stu studio set up okay and we can see those all in the perspective viewports now this is also mindful that it, that you set them up properly inside of Photoshop since I tend to do that anyway running this code doesn't necessarily um, matter in terms of uh, importing the actual image so um, and, and the actual placement in the scene so as long as you have these images set up properly they're always going to match um, if you have to adjust it a little bit then you know so be it but if not you should you really shouldn't um, have a problem as long as you really set those up inside of Photoshop correctly so um, I think that's it for this lesson and in the next lesson we'll go ahead and uh, show you a way to go ahead and set up so that you can go ahead and delete all of those images as well um, independently or um, individually so uh, come on back and we will go ahead and do that